Hi everyone, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to another episode of Mindful Mondays. Here we'll be taking a look at the general collective energy for the week of December the 6th to the 12th. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so you will be told every single time I drop a new video. If you are not already following me on Instagram, I'm doing a giveaway a week for the next three weeks. Uh, this previous week's giveaway is on Danielle Norman's Ascension Tarot and I've paired it with a Malachite Sphere and a whole bunch of other crystals to help with your manifestation journey. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely follow me on IG. Check out the description box below for that direct link. Um, winner will be selected on Wednesday and as soon as I pick the winner uh, through random selection, I'm going to be doing the second giveaway for December. This one includes a crystal about the size of my hand. You definitely don't want to miss out on that. And an entirely new card deck. This one is not a tarot deck. It's actually, um, I guess I could let you know, it's going to be the Skin Deep healing um, transformational cards. So you can even YouTube Skin Deep, the end. Um, they have some videos on those cards too. All right. Also, if you are interested in behind the scenes footage and daily vlogs, I am doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading a video a day every single day for the next 25 days leading up to Christmas. So if you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis, definitely check out those videos in the description and I will leave a card in the corner up here so you can go ahead and click on that as well. All right, show us what we need to see for our collective energy for the week of December the 6th to the 12th. Show us what we need to see, please. I like the energy so far. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we need one more card. One more card. We have three more cards. One sec. We just had one that fell. Wow, this is so, so good. I'm very happy about this energy. Wow. All right. So at the beginning of the week, I'm going to pair these three cards up together because they, they work so well. At the beginning of the week, we have the Queen of Swords upright partnered with the Ten of Swords upright and the Ten of Wands upright. Honey, we are ending these old toxic cycles. That's it. It's done. We got two tens here. That means we are reaching the end of something extremely transformational and powerful. Whether it was a job situation that we knew we were not aligned with, uh, it could be financial hardships, it could be the end of toxic friendships, weird family dynamics, it could be um, a toxic relationship. They don't even have to be toxic, just things that you knew needed to be cut out of your life, but you've been struggling to do that. Even like our old ways of thinking, negative self-talk, imposter syndrome, um, stuff that we feel like we need to force in order to make it work, that shit is coming to an end, thank God. This amazing Queen of Swords energy here could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. If it's just your energy and not a person, we are seeing things for what they truly are. Hallelujah. Our heart and our feelings and what we wish things were are no longer getting in the way. We're admitting where our own shortcomings are too. We're telling ourselves, okay, you know what? I've been saying I'm going to do this and I've been tricking myself into believing that there's all these reasons why I haven't done it yet. Real talk, we're keeping ourselves accountable this week and that is fantastic. As a result of keeping ourselves accountable and cutting through all the BS with our, our sword here, we are going to distance ourselves from the things that drain our energy, energy vampires, people that don't serve us, situations that shouldn't belong here anymore. We're letting these endings happen. We're not even, we're not holding on anymore. You know when you can tell something is about to shift and we start to get scared? 
because we're afraid of the unknown, we tend to cling as hard as we can, even though we know that it's not good for us. Here, we're letting it go. We're releasing it, taking only what we need and moving forward for the remainder of the week. And what are we moving away from and into? Well, honey, we're moving into a great time. This is celebration, catching up with old friends, making new friends, going out, socializing, getting in a better mood, surrounding ourselves with people who want to laugh and create great new memories. We're finding joy in the small things again. Um, and as we participate in this high vibe energy, we end up moving quickly into the direction of this new beginning that we've been wanting for ourselves for so freaking long. Man, we are only a couple of weeks away from the calendar new year. Um, we just hit some major lunation periods as well. Eclipse season just passed. Major endings, huge beginnings. I know that double tens are a little bit scary, but when you got these double tens followed with the fool card, bring it on. Like that's, that's the energy we need to be bringing to the table. Universe, bring it on. End what you need to end because we are ready. We have Cancerian energy here too, so you may also be dealing with a Cancer sign in the Chariot card. Also, uh, traditionally we have the Sphinxes in the Rider Waite deck, but here we have the two horses. We are finally, we're finding that balance. We feel balance on the inside, but our life is also mirroring that balance now too. So movement forward is highly likely this week. That might also mean moving towards a new job, new projects, new passions, new hobbies, new friends, new love, new everything. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and clarify here what we are leaving behind. Let's see what these two tens are, ten of swords and ten of wands. Clarified, please. Yeah, okay. Someone tried to get away with something. We have the Seven of Swords upright, the World upright, and the Seven of Cups upright. Someone had a lot of options, and someone also tried to sneak away and do something uh, without people knowing, without people finding out, under the table, uh, lying through omission, stealing, cheating, keeping something very hush-hush. Um, this could also be uh, secret plans that we have had that we haven't shared with other people yet. So if you've been working on something creative, but maybe you've like hit a block or uh, something along those lines, then this is showing me that the end of your imposter syndrome is here. So if you're one of those who's doing a creative project, writing a book, creating a tarot deck, um, starting up a small business, something along those lines, this is looking really good for you. And it's also showing me that you're you're almost ready to release your project to the world, which is beautiful. Um, now, if you've been dating multiple people, be careful, um, because what I am seeing here is that either you or someone that you are seeing uh, is seeing more than one person and they've been trying to keep it hush hush. If 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 you have not had a conversation where you and your person have declared that you are um, exclusive and this is an official monogamous partnership, please do not assume that that's what's happening because I do see here someone has more than one option. They have several options or dating lots of people or that could be you. Now if you are the one who's doing it and you know that the person you're seeing um, is catching feelings and they think that they're the only one, please correct that. Set that straight because we have the world card up here. So anything that you're doing that um, you know you could be doing in a more kind and generous and loving way with transparency and authenticity, do it that way. Choose to do it that way because if you don't, karma's a bitch and you don't want this to come back around on you. So in this situation, if it's about dating or something like that, uh, honesty is the best policy here. And if, if you haven't had that exclusive conversation yet, now is probably a good time to do that. Okay, now let's see what this fool is. What is this new beginning? So if you are dating somebody, because the fool card is here, this is showing me that if you've been seeing multiple people, you're probably gonna cut it down to one person this week and have that conversation about uh, becoming official. Amazing. All right, so what else? What else do we need to know? Anything else we need to know about this fool card? Clarifying the fool card. Wow, lots of people here. So the Fool card is clarified by the King of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles upright, and the Page of Swords in reverse. 
Okay, so lots of energy here. We're dealing with air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We're dealing with fire, fire sign? No, we are not. Everybody but fire signs. So we have here pentacles, uh, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and water signs with the cups. We have here um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio with the King of Cups in reverse. So since the King of Cups is in reverse, I don't think we are allowing ourselves to get as swept up in emotions. This is less about being crazy emotional with our stuff because the beginning of the week is already very intense. Towards the end of the week, after we go through the Four of Wands energy, um, approaching the Fool and the chariot card it's not necessarily about letting our emotions take over it's also not about being rude um, and delivering our truth in a way that hurts others this is more about choosing the thing that will bring stability a lot of us have been going through it this year a lot of instability emotionally mentally our mental health has probably not been the greatest this year lots of ups and downs our focus for this new beginning is going to be on getting our money right, uh, investing properly, setting ourselves up with people who bring more stability, who teach us how to honor that stability. Uh, we're thinking long term here. We want this long term energy. We don't want any of this 10 old, no more old shit. We're looking forward now, which is great. How am I going to get my money right? Which friendships am I investing in? What relationship in love am I going to be investing my time in? Um, I'm focused on that. What has the most long-term potential? Not what does my heart tell me to do right at this moment? How can I speak my truth and hurt people in the process? Like It's not about that. It's more about being smart in the choice. Everything has to be aligned. For me, the pentacles is a lot like that. It's earth sign energy. It's very grounding. Um, it's less about up here, less about here, and finding that balance in between. Great energy this week. Let's pull some final advice. We're using the Keepers of the Light Oracle. If you're interested in any of the tarot decks that I am using or the Oracle cards, uh, check out my Amazon storefront. Link in the description box. You can purchase any of the decks I'm using through that link. All right. Serapis Bay, Ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness. The light is here. The light is here. The light is here. The light is here. Great week. <laughs> this is a great week. It might not start off perfectly. Uh, you may have to have kind of an uncomfortable conversation, but you know what? Everything is about perspective. It doesn't need to be uncomfortable. Now it just looks like mm -hmm, we are ready to make that choice. And once we make that choice, we are diving into this new beginning full of possibility. What a better way um, to start off this new year and to end off this year on such a powerful note. I love it. I love this energy. I hope this message resonated with you all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all for another video next time. Take care. Bye. Mwah.